the Eve of Green Ushla, Taw Falcher Riff Cock and you, the no heart special of the show in Old Skull Limley, Kundilimni in Aaron. Hello to everybody, and you are most welcome to our graduation ceremony here today at the University of Limerick on the banks of the River Shannon, Ireland. It is a wonderful day that we have planned for you, and I hope that you, your friends and your family get to enjoy this special time as the university awards you for your endeavour and achievement during the course of your studies with us here at the University of Limerick. Take this time to relax and enjoy and breathe in the significance of your achievement and note that this achievement is something that will always stay with you and that you will be able to reflect back on in years to come as you recount the journey of your time here at the University of Limerick, the times where you put in great effort to achieve your goals, to work with your lecturers and tutors and professional staff in order to realise the dreams that you came to us with on the first day of your journey. I hope that this special occasion for you, your family and your friends is all that it can be at this time and that you will go on to celebrate even when this ceremony is over. Cogordicus live Galair. Graduands, as Provost and Deputy President, it's my great honour to welcome you all to this online conferring ceremony at the University of Limerick. For UL, graduation ceremonies are the highlight of the academic calendar. It's the opportunity to come together to celebrate our students' hard work and perseverance, as well as their academic success. Graduation is a day to be celebrated with your family and friends, to recognise your academic achievements and the end of your studies. We hope that you'll be able to mark this milestone in a special way with your loved ones. For some of you, it will be the start of another journey, either into the workforce as a UL graduate or onto further education, where you'll build upon the educational foundations you received at UL. On behalf of everyone here at UL, I offer you our warmest congratulations to each and every one of you, and we wish you every success in the next stage of your journey. This year, due to the pandemic, we are graduating the class of 2021 in online ceremonies. We hope you will enjoy this special occasion. The full ceremony will last about 45 minutes. At the end of the ceremony, UL students from the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance will close the event with a spectacular display. Before we begin the formal part of this online ceremony, Professor Shane Kilcummins, the Executive Dean for the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, will explain to us the significance of the academic dress and the use of the mace at ceremonial events. Hello and welcome to this UL online conferring ceremony. My role today is to say a few words on the significance of the academic robes worn by our academic staff and the graduates. The origins of academic attire date back to the 12th century, when universities were beginning to emerge. At that time, the dress of the scholar, both student and teacher, was that of the monk. The academic gown can be traced back to the Council of Oxford in 1222, where the local bishop decreed that all clergy should wear a closed flowing gown. Both Oxford and Cambridge adopted this practice and continued it even when the clerical attire changed. In 1895, formal standards were agreed for American universities which continue to this day. There, the colour used is indicative of the subject to which the degree pertains. This same uniformity does not apply here in Ireland and you will find it very difficult to identify a pattern or consistency. The hood was originally intended to serve as a cover for the tonsured head of the cleric. 
Caps came to be used later. You will notice that some academics wear caps while others do not, depending on the custom at the university at which the degree was conferred. In medieval times, the mace was a weapon of war and was a heavy staff or club made from metal and was originally used for breaking armour. In 13th century France, the mace was carried up by the monarch's bodyguard and began to acquire a ceremonial function as a symbol of secular power. At a live ceremony, parchments would be presented across the university mace to the graduating students by the president. Today, the UL mace will be placed on the table in front of our president to maintain its significance for use in acknowledging your academic achievement. I hope that you enjoy the ceremony and can celebrate your success with your families at home. Thank you. I now call on Professor Kirsten May, President, to officially start proceedings and to deliver her conferring address. Members of Governing Authority, members of Academic Council, parents, partners and families, graduates of the class 2021, colleagues, a meeting of the university is hereby convened for the purpose of conferring academic awards. Exercising the power granted to the University of Limerick by Orachtas Ehren, I hereby confer degrees of the university on the graduates from the Faculty of Business, Chemie Business School. Graduates, welcome, dear Yves. As I begin today, I will offer you the warmest of congratulations on completing this hugely important part of your learning journey. I also decided to begin today by looking at UL from the outside, as somewhat of an island, but that is where I paused, as there is no doubt we are part of a much bigger community, a strong local and international family that helps us to have an outward perspective and helps us to enhance and develop the way we educate our young leaders of tomorrow. We know that the last 17 months have disrupted our lives, our work, our education and research, and indeed our families, kinships and friends. Amid that disruptions, we are emerging from those clutches through research, advances in medicine, but most of all through the solidarity and determination of our communities. Speaking of emerging, today you are completing this, your chosen journey through higher education. For some of you, your steps on this pathway of formal education will end here and you will become competent and dynamic members of the workforce. For others, you will stay on this path of knowledge exchange and take your studies onwards. Nonetheless, and whatever path you have chosen, your success is hard-earned, highly valued and above all a credit to you and your entire support network. No one gets to graduate without a great deal of hard work, commitment and some degree of self-sacrifice. Today we need to thank your tutors who work with such passion and commitment to educate the decision makers of tomorrow. We must thank your parents, guardians and your family who stand behind you offering the support that cannot be measured. Thank your friends who stand by your side and for just being there. And thank yourself for having the perseverance to see this expedition in the search of knowledge, insights and understanding through to the end. You have shown resilience throughout your journey and at the most challenging time, education has shown to be resilient also. However, we must learn from this pandemic and how change was foisted upon us. We must transform education and we must do it so that it remains resilient and meets the challenges of tomorrow. COVID-19 has served as a reset button. There are opportunities. Key elements of our higher education system needed to become more agile and permeable throughout the human lifespan. Needs to be flexible and adaptable between online, remote and face-to-face -face context. We must learn from the transitions of education and research undergone during the pandemic and build on these. However, any transformation or reimagining of university education has to go hand in glove with the reform of its funding model and an enhancement of its investment into its research infrastructure, capacity and capabilities. 
addressing both the exponential speed in which knowledge and competencies demands evolve, we need to enhance access to education and enable formal and informal learning opportunities re- and upskilling throughout the human life cycle and not just at its beginning. Closing the gap between established educational models and agendas on the one hand and learners and societal needs on the other will not only ensure the global competitiveness of the Irish economy, it is vital for furthering and safeguarding social inclusion and cohesion and for the thriving of our communities. Considerations for the future of education have to focus on growing a sense of interrelatedness between individuals and the community, between the local and the global, and importantly, they have to support the move beyond unsustainable economic growth models and further regenerative approaches to halt climate change and address the planetary health. As I mentioned before, we are part of a local and international community. You have an opportunity to be part of that future of education, both directly and indirectly. Since its foundation, UL has evolved from a regional institution to a national university with growing European and global reach through excellence in research and education. We have you, our alumni, who are the much sought after graduates that industry so desires and engage citizen society needs. Armed with a valuable award, you can help shape the ways of tomorrow, answer the biggest challenges we face and strive to the greater heights we desire. Challenges such as climate change and regenerating the planet and the oceans is going to require the ensemble of sciences, all of them. The advancements of innovative technology, collaboration across disciplines, sectors and nations. Above all, it requires talent with intellectual passion, critical engagement and emotional intelligence, judgment and empathy. You are entering into that world as our ambassadors and we are so proud of you. Graduates, you have prevailed during a unique moment in history and your graduation marks a significant milestone on your personal journey of growth, on your quest to fulfill your goals and nurture your aspirations. I hope you will look back fondly on your time at UL in Limerick and as part of a community of scholars. Our post-pandemic societal rejuvenation will be supported by the addition of people like you, bringing your skills creativity and commitment into the community. We will continue to look for support from all levels of society, from government, from our industry partners and from our communities. We will continue to strive and thrive so that we do compete internationally and continue to explore and exploit the imposed changes for the better. Our higher education institutes protect the value of academic achievements proudly and fiercely by ensuring that our governance of your educational journey reaches the highest international standards. The importance of our sector has been highlighted because of this pandemic. Science and the relevance of educational engagement and global research activities is how we overcome adversities such as this current pandemic. Therefore, we continue to stand firm against any dilutions of educational standards to ensure that you can use your degree confidently and proudly in the knowledge that it is an unquestionable statement of ability, academic integrity and attainment. Today, you join a global community of the best alumni from Limerick, people who contribute to and make a difference to the lives of individuals, communities and nations on a daily basis. Cherish the knowledge and truths you have gained, keep adding to it, and remember that you are now alumni of this institution. You are inextricably linked, and we urge you to stay in touch as you go out into the world for the next exciting chapter of your lives. To finish, I will offer you this. As we look forward to the rest of the year and 2022 with growing optimism, remember this. Patient, determination and hard work will always bring success. And now you are equipped with the skill set and the tools to achieve success and overcome challenges. While we face challenges, we need to be cognizant of our own self-worth, our growth and our potential to achieve. Savor the short-term success, but be mindful of your long-term fulfillment and all the while think carefully about your priorities. I will close by wishing you all the very best for your new adventures in the knowledge that when life does become uncertain, you will always find comfort and sustenance from the achievement of your graduation. Feel tall, 
be proud, savor and relish your achievement. Congratulations and well done. Thank you very much. I am pleased to call on Professor Finbar Murphy, Interim Executive Dean, Kemi Business School, to make his address of welcome and to present the candidates for conferring of undergraduate and taught postgraduate awards. First, my heartiest congratulations to you on your achievements. I also want to congratulate your families, your parents, siblings, sons and daughters, because I know that in the same way it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a family to get a qualification. Academic procession, sombre music, photographs, cheering family members and caps being tossed high in the air. That's how we celebrate the end of grades and exam stress in normal times. But the current global situation has made it impossible to celebrate together. This last year has been tough on everyone, but my colleagues and I in the University of Limerick know only all too well how particularly hard this has been on you, our former students and now our alumni. The graduation ceremony is important because from this day forward you will have to rely not on grades or guidance from professors to tell you how you are doing and where you stand. You will have to rely instead on your inner compass. That compass honed by your family, friends, and your experience here as a student will allow you to chart your own course, question your assumptions, and when necessary, sail unafraid against strong winds. Stay close to your friends from college. You have just spent the last four years with them. That history is invaluable. Work colleagues, you talk to them about work. Neighbors, you talk to them about community. But friends from college, you can talk to them about everything and you can do nothing with them and still be happy. My friends from my college days mean the world to me. Without my college friends, I wouldn't know any Clare Hurling supporters or Leinster rugby fans. I would not be the godfather of two kids. I would have a different best man on my wedding day and my holiday plans for next year would be very different. Keep being a friend to the friends you already have, but find new ones too. Keep in touch with the teachers with whom you have become friends. We're always glad to hear from you. And find new teachers. Be a teacher yourself and help those people who come to depend on your advice. Being helpful to others is a good way to make and keep friends. So go out there and be world beaters Launch yourself on exciting journeys. Take your friends with you and make new friends along the way. Speaking of journeys, don't forget to call home now and then. I used to write letters to my parents back in the day, and later I would call them by phone. But technologies have changed, so make sure you Zoom call, WhatsApp, FaceTime your family. Whatever technology you use, your parents and loved ones will appreciate it. Again, my warmest wishes from all at the University of Limerick. Congratulations and good luck in your next journey. <laughs> President, the Academic Council of the University has been satisfied that the following candidates are worthy to be conferred undergraduate and taught postgraduate awards. Therefore, I present the candidates and request you confer the awards on them. Dr. Elaine Doyle, Interim Head, Department of Accounting and Finance, will now call the candidates in each award category and in alphabetical order. Certificate in Management. Christina Bacco, Finbar Barry, James Bateman, Dermot Cahill. Anne Emily Callanan, Maura Collins, Laura Corkery, Robert Cosgrove, Fiona Cosgrove, Keith Crossan, Kerry Crowley, Neave Cullen, 
Thomas Cunningham, Sabrina Cusack, Claire Daly, Noel Donaghy, Mary Duggan, Thomas DeMarkic, Niamh Ennis, Emer Gunning, Sarah Hanrahan, Danielle Hassett, Emmeline Healy, Denise Heher, Danitza Houlihan, Nadia Wiggy, Ronan Keane. Shane Aidan Kelleher, Connor Kelly, Leslie Kennedy, Maria Kulakowska, Aoife Larkin, Ian Lynch, Samantha McCarthy, Kira McInerney, Kerry McMahon, Eamon McNamara, Yvonne Meany, Anna Miss, Denise Maloney, Michael Monaghan, Fiona Moran, Derek Brendan Moynihan, David Muldowney, Roseanne Mullins, Rebecca Mullins Costello, Carol Murphy, Patricia Nyhan, Aoife O'Connor, Nia O'Doherty, Neville O'Halloran, Denise O'Loughlin, Julianne O'Shea, Caroline O'Sullivan, Nia Quinn, Michael Rainsford, David Roach, Daniel Sheehy. Marion Shire, Andreas Swetlick, Gareth Thompson, Stephen Toomey, Lauren Walsh, Barbara Wyka Hennessy. Certificate in Principles of Global Trade Compliance, Jerry Byrne, Martin Donoghue, Bagreshri Jaya Prakash, Gavin Lynch, Deirdre Morahan, Lewis Murphy. Higher Certificate in Supervisory and Human Resources Practice. Karen Bogoroa, Michelle Collins, Richard Delaney, Helena Fitzgerald, Eleanor Grace, Kamala Hanakova, Katrina Horan, Susanna King, Sarah Lewis, Colin Mannix, Sinead Mason, Linda Mitchell, Samantha Maloney, Deborah Ogilvie, Tom Power, Martin Shinners, Ashlyn Smith, Ordena Vukovic. Diploma in Health Services Management, Anne Maria Hearn, Winnie Alexander, Michelle Brennan, Christine Collins, Katrina Columby, Patricia Cooney, Wisdom Danny Destiny, Arida Downs, Martina Glynn, Bridget Heffernan, Elma Herbert, Leila Hughes, Hisa Jose, Anne-Marie Mahoney, Peter Okoraji, Lorraine Quinn, Ashleen Reed, Patricia Ryan, Emma Walker. Diploma in Human Resource Management, Elfa Asarina, Aoife Barry, Hannah Bugler, Avine Cullinan, Louise Farrell, Karen Fennessy, Kaylee Ann Field Pertel, Gronya Frawley, Clara Guckian, John Gearan, Emma Louise Kelly, Trish Kelly, Mary Lane, Kira Milani, Natalie O'Hanlon, Heather Peavers, Marita Saltes, Declan Taggart, Kevin Taylor, Breda Walsh. Diploma in Management, Katarzyna Banis, Pam Bardini, Pamela Brooks, 
Gráinne Burrows, Sean Carrig, David Considine, Amber Corbett, Tommy Downs, Cormac Fallon, Alice Figura, Sinead Finucane, Kira Fitzpatrick, Nicholas Friel, Alan Gillespie, Michelle Hartnett, Patricia Hayes, Mamie Hayes, Fiona Howley, Magdalena Jacuz, Gary Jordan, Jacqueline Keane, Donna Kelly, Colm Kiley, John Lyons, Susan Monaghan, Tristan Modley, Tom Moore, Niall Murray, Marek Nadansky, Tracy O'Callaghan. Dean O'Carroll, Aidan O'Keefe, Lauren O'Reilly, Tiago De Castro Pavoni, Kevin Phelan, Eugenia Power, Kevin Price, Maria Quirk O'Leary, Alan Shanahar, Richard Sheehy, Gary Tobin, Rowan Walsh, Michael Walsh, Stephen Warren, Aoife Willis. I now call upon our newest graduate from the faculty, Ms. Katrina O'Halloran, to say a few words to her peers in the graduating class of 2021. Hi everyone, my name is Katrina and today I am honoured to be addressing the Kemi Business School 2021 graduating class. I am graduating from International Business and I want to extend a congratulations to all my fellow graduates across the Business School. Today is a milestone in our lives and most certainly a day to be celebrated. I am conscious that I'm addressing a mixture of courses across the KBS, which means we've all had very different journeys throughout our time here in UL. We've all had our own challenges, our own learnings and more importantly, our own personal wins. This past year has thrown so much at us. College wasn't always easy, but here we are, we made it and all the hard work paid off. I know we're all tired of hearing about COVID-19 and I know we would all love to be in the concert hall right now, nervously waiting to walk across that stage and collect our parchment. But I want to acknowledge the resilience of the 2021 graduating class. COVID-19 has affected each of us differently. The pandemic left most of us feeling exhausted, both mentally and physically. But for each of you to persevere with your studies shows a strength that needs to be commended. I have no doubt that whatever comes your way, you have the fortitude to overcome it and find success in what you choose to do. To my fellow international business and business study graduates, what a crazy four years it's been. From the late night library cramming sessions to the many, many more nights spent in stables, we really have had the full experience. We have laughed together, cried together and grown together. We each have our own stories and memories from classes, nights out, Erasmus, co-op and the list goes on. I know our final year wasn't what we all hoped for, but we still have so much to celebrate. It's safe to say that UL has shaped the people we are today. Four years ago, a new chapter began in our lives when we left secondary school and called UL home. And today, a new chapter begins yet again. This one more varied than the last as we all take different paths. In secondary school, we were always told, just find your college course and then you'll figure out what's next. Well, <laughs> here we are, and let's face it, many of us still don't know what should be next. And that's okay. We don't have to know straight away. There is no one path that you follow once graduated. Try everything until you figure out what job or studies are meant for you and don't limit yourself. And that goes for all graduates today. Use what you've learned from your time in UL in your pursuit to find what you love doing. The KBS has taught us to have a head for business and a heart for the world and I can't wait to see what you all do next. Thank you to all the lecturers, tutors and professional staff that have supported us throughout our time in the KBS. 
Thank you to our family and friends that were there to encourage us when at times we felt lost. Thank you to our fellow classmates that took the time to help others. And thank you to everyone that made our time in UL so memorable. Finally, to the graduating class. I'm sure today has a different significance for each of us. Some are sad to part ways with UL, others are excited or even anxious for what's next. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, finally, right now. No matter what today means to you, I hope you take a moment to be proud of what you have achieved. Enjoy the rest of your celebrations, put on those robes and get your pictures. Enjoy today with family and friends, and I am wishing you the very best of luck in all your future endeavours. Thank you. I am now pleased to call on Professor Anne Ledworth, Executive Dean, Graduate and Professional Studies, to present the PhD candidates. President, the Academic Council of the University has been satisfied that the following candidates are worthy to be awarded a doctoral degree by research and thesis. Therefore, I present the candidates to you and request you to confer the awards on them. Each doctoral candidate has successfully undertaken a programme of study and research involving the submission of a thesis and its examination by internal and external examiners. Doctor of Philosophy, Louise Nagel. The title of Louise's thesis is An Exploration of the Factors Impacting on Pre-Professional Identity Formation During Legitimate Peripheral Participation within nursing clinical placement. Supervisors, Dr. Juliet McMahon and Dr. Mary Fitzpatrick. Graduates, thank you for watching this online ceremony today, which I hope you enjoyed. On behalf of everyone at UL, I offer you our warmest congratulations to each and every one of you and wish you all every success in your future career path.